why spend the money for a new sign in the first place? You know, the, the thing I have taken a lot of pride in over the years is we ask our community on, you know, what are some of the significant issues out there? And believe it or not, this is one of those things we heard back from a lot of, a lot of folks in, in Springfield was, you know, I think we need a maybe a little bit better entrance into our downtown. And, and uh, so we decided that, um, you know, and it just wasn't us. This was a great partnership, as, as I mentioned before, with uh, uh, with ODOT, this was a partnership I think with our with our public works. But I think more importantly, this is a partnership we had with the Rotary, and the and the Rotarians really stepped up enormously to help us with the financial aspects of it. So, you know, when you talk about spending the money, this is really a to me this is a community partnership. I think that uh, again showed the success that we've had over the years on on working and working towards that. I guess toward, towards that goal is to really work within the community and talk to folks about being a partner with the with the city. Most people didn't even realize there was the old wooden sign, and this is going to clearly catch people's eye. I mean, I, when I drove by here last night and I saw it, I mean, it really stood out, and uh, you know, and it captures I think one of the most iconic pieces of our of our city, and that is the drift boat. And so I think when people see this, uh, this is this is this is basically a welcome to the city, but. Uh, but I think uh, I think in a very classy way.